gentlemen, the federal government wishes to commend the Nigerian Security and Intelligence Services who collaborated to rearrest and to rearrest the proscribed IPOB leader in one of the most classic operations of his type in the world. We commend the professionalism, diligence, patriotism, and painstaking efforts of our security and intelligence agencies. We also thank the sister international agencies that collaborated with us to pull off this arrest. It will interest Nigerians to know that for over two years, our security and intelligence agencies were on the trail of the proscribed IPOB leader as he lived a five-star life across several countries, traveling on chartered private jets, living in luxurious apartments, and turning out in designer clothes and shoes. Of course, as we all saw, he was arrested wearing an attire made by Fendi, a luxury Italian fashion brand. We can tell you that the forensic investigation carried out so far has revealed a treasure trove of information on the proscribed IPOP leader and its collaborators. While the investigation continues, we assure you that none of the collaborators, irrespective of their standing in the society, will be spared. They will all face the full wrath of the law for their activities that challenge our nation's sovereignty and threatens its unity. No one, no matter how hardly placed, is bigger than the country. It's also interesting that many are suddenly calling for a fair trial for Khan, as if he didn't get one before. He decided to jump bail and flee. However, I can assure you that the fair deal that Kano denied many of the victims of the violence which he willfully instigated through his broadcasts and tweets will not be denied him. Finally, there have been speculations on how this rearrest was pulled off and in which country the ETSO fugitive leader of the proscribed IPOP was nabbed. What we can tell you once again is that the rearrest was made possible by the diligent efforts of our security and intelligence agencies in collaboration with countries with which we have obligations. We continue to lead. We continue to respect and honor these obligations. Gentlemen, I thank you most sincerely for your kind attention.